Welcome. Good to have you here. Good to see you. Uh, I think it's one of the coolest riffs, and uh, not just in Southern Rock, but in all of them. It's working for MCA. I guess it came out in 74, 75. I don't know, somewhere in the 70s. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, really cool. I heard it earlier today in the car and thought, man, that'd be a good one to teach. So, um, so what we're going to do, if you will, oh, before, if you will, please hit subscribe and like and comment. And because I'd appreciate your support of my channel. And so here we go. So uh, we're going to play a B chord. And then uh, that's the first that's going to be in the key of B. This this is not an easy riff, really. It's fast, and it's kind of a tongue twister, you know. It's hard to do a lot of times in a row. I mean, I could do it if I rehearsed it a bunch of times, but... So you hit the, this B, then the next one's going to be... All right, so what I'm doing here... I have my first finger I'm barring at the fourth fret, uh, strings five, four, three mainly. Uh, so, and then I have my second finger on A5. And I'm just going to bend up, bend, bend off, uh, pull off on them. I'm mainly just playing strings five and four. I'm not, certainly not playing, you know, two, may, maybe. Yeah, I think just five and four. So it's... And then I go to the B there with my fourth finger on E7 and just kind of, you know, kind of go like that, slide back. So it's... All right, do it one more time. All right, then I'm going to play an A. right there twice then you're gonna do a hammer to a2 so it was uh, then I'm gonna play a low uh, E after that just like on a I think I'm just playing the, t the uh, lower two strings. I'm just playing the open E, actually. Then I do, uh, after the low E, then I'm going to go E2 to E4. So it's... Back to that B. We do this again. Then we do the second time. And the A right there. So this is the A. And then I'm barring at the second fret. Uh, strings five and four. I'm just playing those right there. Then I'm going to hammer from E2 to E4 on the fifth string. And then play an open E. So slowly. So that the whole thing is. See, I'm gonna teach the the chorus part. Uh, this is like a single note thing. All 
All right, so what's going on here? I'm hitting at the E2 twice, down up, then I'm at the uh, fourth fret and on D4 and then to D5. Then D2, then A4, then I go to E5, that A note right there. And it's kind of a, you're bending down a little bit on it. Not a whole lot. And you know, to be honest, I'm not someone who gets really anal about these things, you know, I don't get that picky about it, but you could even, I've done that before, just play, hit an open A, you know, I, I, I hear the sound of a slight bend, but you know, you can, if playing an open A, if you're comfortable with the, the sound of that, and if it's easier, then go for it, I'd probably do it like that too. You know, um, either way, but I'm kind of hearing like a slight bend. I may be bending just a little bit too much. All right, so that's that part, and then it goes. So that is the same thing right here. E2 twice, D4, D, uh, uh, yeah, D4 to A4, then A2, then hammer from D2 to D4. So it's the whole thing. Uh, you do it again. Okay, so that last time is... D, uh, E2 twice, D4, A4, E, D2, A4, then to a, then you go back to the, okay, so there's that, and then there's this, the solo, I'm going to put a little, a little bit more overdrive on here, um, there's the for the the first solo, which is at, at the intro. It's okay. I have not figured out or even attempted to learn the the rest of the solos on that one. It's kind of long, and <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes I just like to. If it's a long solo, I usually don't take the time to, to try and learn it. Um, so, anyway. So, you got, you're at the uh, B minor pentatonic, and you're just going to, you're at the seventh fret. There's a second, from the second string to the first. Uh, it's a blues and rock lick that's been played zillions of times. All right, so then you're going to go after that to uh, that. That's that. That bend is on a uh, B nine or B ten. Then you're going to go to B twelve and pull off the B ten, and then. That's a G11 to G14, and you slide back to G11. Then you go. Oops. Now that's what it is. So what this is, you're again at the uh, B minor pentatonic. Mm -hmm. And I'm just bending at uh, G9, pull off on G7, that's uh, D9, 
to G7 to G9. Alright, and then get the last leg is And that is um, <clears throat> bending at G9. Then uh, you bring it down and pull off to G7, G9. Then uh, that's uh, G7 to G9, you hammer on. Then B7 to G7 to, to uh, D9. Okay. So. Okay, so that ought to do it for what I know of working for MCA. Just have fun with it. Kind of take your time with uh, with with that um, <clears throat> those, the, those chords there. That's that's not a you know that riff is not easy. So just take your time, learn it little by little. Don't try to take out the whole thing at first if it's giving you problems. All right, y'all have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye now.